Hi, my name is Steven Ucheng. I'm a trainer from Southern Africa, and today we want to talk about financial projection. In this example, we're going to use Sarah's business to take us through. So, when doing a financial projection, the first thing is that you need to open the financial projection sheet. The next thing that you need to do is to enter your business name. In this case, I'm going to enter Sarah's business name, which is Mama Sarah. Mama Sarah. So, after entering the business name, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to read through the instructions. That is, the blue and yellow cells are input. You only need to fill in the cells with the yellow shading. The black and white cells are for view only, and that means you don't need to make any changes on the white cells. So let's start filling our sheet. Mama Sarah sells chapati. She is planning to sell 2,000 chapati at the end of month one. So each chapati will be going for 10 shillings. She will be making a revenue of 20,000 shillings out of the sale of 2,000 chapatis in the first month of start. Now with this sheet, every figure that you put, it calculates itself automatically. That's why we are recommending that you don't make any changes on the white and black cells. In the first month of start, Sarah is expecting to make a revenue of 20,000 shillings out of the sale of 2,000 chapatis at the end of the month. Now, we look at the cost of sales of making the 2,000 chapatis. Mama Sarah incurs a cost of sales of 5 shillings to make each chapati. That means Mama Sarah will be spending 10,000 shillings as the total cost of sales of making the 2,000 chapati. Now we'll go to the part of operating expenses. Mama Sarah is calculating her operating expenses. She has one employee and that is herself. She pays herself a salary of 5,000 shillings at the end of the month. That brings the total to 5,000 shillings. She has other additional expenses such as electricity, which is 2,000 shillings at the end of the month. She pays a rent of 1,000 shillings. That brings the total of additional expenses to 3,000 shillings at the end of the first month. Now, we are going to the next sheet, which is capital investment. Mama Sara needs to determine the capital investment for her business. She will need one cooking pan, one rolling stick, one rolling pan, two basin, a spoon, and a jiko. All these add up to 2,910 shillings. Now, we'll now determine the projected profit of Mama Sara. Mama Sara needs to determine the projected profit for her business. In the first month of start, she's expecting to make a revenue of 20,000 shillings. She will incur a cost of sales of 10,000 shillings. This represents a gross profit of 10,000 shillings. This translates to a gross margin of 50%. Her total salary expense is 5,000 shillings. Total operating expense is 2,000 shillings. Her operating income is therefore 3,000 shillings. This represents an operating margin of 15%. Sarah's operating income at the end of the first month of start is 3,000 shillings. Her total invested capital is 2,910 shillings. Her return on invested capital is therefore 103.1%. We've come to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comment below section. Be sure to share this video like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.